What's up guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a potted plant in Adobe Illustrator. So here we are, I have a new document open. This document is 1920 by 1080. You can go to File, New, and just create a new document if you wanna follow along. 1920 by 1080, that's in pixels or points or whatever you so desire. Okay, I have a little bit of a background on this. It's just like a... Uh, sort of a tan, very light tan color, but that doesn't matter too much. Let's get started. First things first, let's make a square. So we're gonna make the pot first, and that's gonna be with the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is M. So I'm just gonna make a little square out here. It doesn't have to be a perfect square, just this is gonna be the bottom of the pot. And we're gonna make it right about there, right about that size, just kind of guesstimating. And we want a color for this. I like to use the color, uh, the actual color panel. You can go up to window, down to color, that's F6, it's gonna pop out here. I'm gonna dock it over here in my toolbar, and then it's this guy, or not that guy, yeah, that guy, that guy right there, the color window. And so I like to double click on this, and then I can choose any sort of color. And I think that sort of terracotta color will work well for these. I actually have colors already prepared, and what I would do is once you pick your color, Go ahead and open the swatches panel, that's in window down to swatches. And once you have that open, click this new swatch button. And when you do that, check mark global swatch. That's gonna create a swatch that you can change later and it'll change all the colors in your design that use that swatch, which is very nice for um, working backwards later when you wanna change colors. So I have these already picked out. I have five of them created. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the color numbers every time I go into this, and that doesn't show you. Well, it shows you the RGB, 237, 151, and 107. But if you're looking for a hex code, we can go back over to this little color palette, double click on that guy, and we have ED976B. That is the hex code for this little terracotta uh, color. So we're gonna use this, we got this square created. I'm actually going to duplicate it by holding Option or Alt, clicking and dragging and holding Shift, kind of dragging up. Notice all those pink lines, I'm gonna let go. There's a duplication of it. Those pink lines are Smart Guides, they're gonna be very handy. Go up to View, down to Smart Guides, Command U or Control U, the shortcut for that. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. All right, we got some of that out of the way. Now let's really create this thing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. That's Command Plus or Control Plus. And we're gonna scale this rectangle down. Because remember, this is gonna be the top of our little pot. So we'll scale him down to somewhere right in there. And then I'm gonna hold Option or Alt. And just on the double-ended horizontal arrows here, I'm gonna click and drag that out a little bit. Because, you know, there's a little bit of a lip to the top of these type of pots. Okay, cool. We are creating uh, one of those Mario pipes so far. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna grab this bottom corner here with the direct selection tool. The shortcut key for that is A. Once I have that grabbed, I'm gonna hold Shift and hit my left arrow key, just maybe one time over, to get some of that little uh, tapering off of the pot at the bottom. I'm gonna do the same thing with this right one, just grab that point, Shift, right arrow key, to bring those into each other. So this is cool, I think this pot is a little tall, so I'm gonna remain on my direct selection tool, grab both the bottom points, just by clicking and dragging over both the bottom points, and how about we shift click up with the arrow key, one click. That looks a lot better to me. Okay, so let's round some corners. I'm going to click on my entire shape with the direct selection tool. You could also click with the uh, regular selection tool if you wanted to. I'm going to find my transform window up in window down to transform. That's going to pop out. And what that gives me is some corner options down here. As long as you have this still as a perfect square or rectangle with all 90 degree angles, you're going to get this little corner panel. So for this corner radius, I'm going to do five points. And because this is linked, they're all going to change at the same time, which works for me. So we just rounded all of those corners. You can also click and drag on these little dots, which we'll do that at the bottom of this pot. So at the base of this pot down here, I'm gonna click and drag, grab those two points again, and kind of pull those little dots in just a touch, just to round off those bottom two corners. Now if you're in CS6, go check out my rounding corners in CS6 tutorial, and you'll be able to round those bottom two corners in the same way as those who are updated. Okay, so, we have our little uh, our little pot thing, but I need a separation between the top and the bottom. So we're gonna do that by creating a little bit of a shadow under the lip of this, uh, the top of this pot. 
to do that, we're gonna go back to the rectangle tool. Remember that's M for the shortcut key. I'm going to create a rectangle and it's just gonna be sort of haphazardly across this guy, but then I'm gonna pull him up so he locks into the bottom of the lip of the pot here. And once I do that, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, switch to my selection tool, grab the bottom of this with the double-ended vertical arrows and kind of drag that up a little bit, maybe into here. I don't want this shadow to be too tall, you know, just a little bit underneath the lip of this. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna click and drag, grab both this rectangle and the bottom rectangle. See how they're both selected. Switch over to my Shape Builder tool, that's Shift M is the shortcut key. And then I'm gonna hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac, and that switches that arrow to a minus instead of a plus. And if I just click and drag through these extra bits, they're gonna get rid of them for me. So there we go, now we have a shape right over the top of this pot. And what we need to do with that guy is just change his color. So I'm gonna switch back to the selection tool, make sure I have just this piece selected. Go back to my swatches, which I'm not sure which one that is, there we go. And I'm gonna select my darker color here, my sort of darker tan. And that color is 1931073 on the RGB scale. And on the uh, hex code scale, it's C16E49. So you can input that, and you'll get the same color if you want the same color. Uh, all right, so we have a little shadow. Let's zoom out. There's our pot. I mean, it's looking pretty good so far. Last thing I'm going to do is add an entire shadow on the right side of this, as if there's a light source from the left coming down to the right. That's super easy these days. I used to not know this trick, but grab the rectangle tool, create a rectangle, and make sure that it cuts or stops or locks in at the halfway point of your shape. Smart guides help you out here. I'm gonna let go, there's a rectangle, cool. Doesn't matter what color it is, switch back to my selection tool, grab everything, go back to the shape builder tool, that's shift M, and now it sees everything, which is real nice. I just wanna get rid of this piece here, so I'm gonna hold option or alt for the minus and slice right through that, and it's gone. So there we go, we have a shadow on the right side. I'm gonna click on it, change its fill to a black color, and then bring its opacity down to something like 10%. So we just have a little bit of a hint of a shadow on that side. Sweet, I'm gonna grab all of this, right click, group it together, and now we have a pot. And while we're at it, I'm gonna show you quickly how to create another style of pot. We're gonna grab this, go to the ellipse tool, that's L for the shortcut key. From here, I'm going to hold Shift and Option or Shift and Alt on a PC to kind of create it from the center out. I'm gonna create it about the same height as this guy. Actually, we could lock it in. Well, I don't wanna lock it. I'm gonna create it a little bit further, uh, so a little bit taller than the pot on the left. Let go. There's a shape there, okay. Switch to the selection tool, make sure it's selected. The I key for the eyedropper tool, and I can just eyedropper this color. There we go. Now, I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom by creating rectangles again and I'm going to create a rectangle that lines up with the top of that terracotta pot on the left, just like that, and I'm gonna create a rectangle that lines up with the bottom of it, just like that. Now I'm going to switch to the selection tool, that is V for the shortcut key, grab everything, Shift M, that's my shape builder tool, and I'm gonna get rid of this slice here, so I can just slice through the, the top of those shapes and the bottom of these shapes. So here's another style of pot. Now I think that I cut a little bit too much off the bottom of this guy. I think the top should be a lot more open. So I'm gonna undo with Command or Control Z. And I'm just gonna move this rectangle down a little bit. And we're gonna see how much it cuts off there. I think that's better. I think it should taper a little bit. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just select everything, go to the Shape Builder tool, and then hold Option or Alt and drag through this and that looks a little bit better. Now we can scale this guy down some, he doesn't have to be so, so tall, and then we can drag him down to match the bottom of this pot. And then what I think you could do is add a little bit of a decoration to this guy. So I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool, just create a rectangle through here, kind of on the top third of this, uh, could bring him down just a touch. Uh, and then what we'll do with this guy is we can change his color. I like this sort of whitish tan color. The hex code for that guy is F9E0D7. Okay, so we can grab both of these. Shift M 
for the shape builder tool and then slice off these two side pieces by holding option or alt and dragging through them. So here's a different style of pot. We can once again M for the shape tool, drag through this and create the shadow. If we just select everything, shift M for the shape builder tool, hold option or alt, slice through that right side. We've got a shape for the right side of this. Once again, just change him to black and 10%. And there is our sort of rounded version of this pot. So we can grab this, group him together. That's also Command or Control G. Okay, there we go. We have two styles of pots, right? A little bonus here. Now, we're going to create the leaves. So let's zoom out just a touch. That's Command or Control minus. Come over here, and we're going to create two circles with the rectangle, not the rectangle tool, with the ellipse tool. That's L for the shortcut key. I'm going to create a circle. I like creating them from the center out, so I hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option. Create it from the center out. Doesn't matter how big. We're just going to create two of these guys. So switch back to the shape or the selection tool. Grab this guy, hold Option or Alt, and we're going to duplicate him out. And look at this carefully. The middle where these two cross, it's like a Venn diagram, right? Where they cross creates a leaf shape. So create the shape that you want, maybe something in here. Let go. And now grab both of these with the selection tool and see how we have that shape in the middle? Well, you guessed it. We're going to use the shape builder tool. That's shift M. Hold option or alt. Slice off these two sides and we have a leaf. So easy. Now this leaf, we want him to be a certain color. I have a swatch up here, just a light green. Oh, we have two leaves. I'm going to delete this one. Uh, sometimes it'll duplicate that. For whatever reason, it'll create two. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I created this little green color. Uh, if you want the same green color, that's going to be 87B272. Cool. Okay, we need to create a shadow on the right side of this with maybe a darker green. So once again, the shape tool up here, rectangle tool, M is the shortcut key. Grab that, make it so it's just over the halfway point. Boom. Okay, and then V for the shortcut key, grab everything. Hey. You think we should use the Shape Builder tool? Shift to hit M, uh, hold Option or Alt. I love the Shape Builder tool. Just slice through that right side. Now you have a, a, a shape that is the size of half of this. So we're going to change his color. I've got a swatch for that. Look at that. There we go. By the way, this color, 526D45. There you go, you guys. That's all the colors we're using. Now I have this leaf. I'm going to group him together so he's easy to move around. Group. And we can just bring him over here. And more than likely, he's on top of our pot. Well, since we grouped this pot together, we can just click on it, right click, go to arrange, bring to front. That's also shift command, right bracket, or shift control, right bracket. And we're starting to build this little leaf. We can, uh, with the double ended arrows, we can always grab the top and bottom of this. I'd like to hold shift to keep it in proportion, but you can also, I'll show you in a second where you could skew it if you wanted. But we have this guy, so we can duplicate him to the left. Maybe uh, duplicate it, or maybe uh, just rotate him a little bit, right? We could bring him down some. We could scale him down some. Hold Shift when you're scaling, and then we could do the same thing over to the right, and just kind of make this pot or this plant however you want him to look, just like that. There you go, and you can uh, you can do or you can group these guys with command or control G. They're grouped together. This guy's grouped together. You could group the whole plant together. Command or control G with everything selected. Now it's one big group. And you can kind of center it up with your eyes. That's fine. So we could. We could take this group here. Uh, well, we'll just, yeah. So if you double click into a group, you're in the isolated portion of that group. So you can work on the elements inside of it. I could grab this group because now we have these two pieces inside of the whole sort of plant group. I can grab this guy, Command or Control C to copy, double click outside of it, and you'll go back to your normal level. You're not in isolation mode anymore. You can Command or Control V to paste, and now we have this little plant again. And we could always just bring him down inside of this guy here. Uh, he's on top, so we'll just grab the pot, right click, arrange, bring to front. And now we have two different styles of plants, and I can just bump him over with the arrow keys to position him. Uh, two different styles of plants in two, or well, two different styles of potted plants. Same plant. Uh, okay, cool. Wow, we did it. Uh, lots of talking. Uh, ooh, I gotta go, but that's okay. I'm gonna do one more thing for you guys, and that is I'm gonna grab this guy, bring him over here. 
that's a duplication with the Option or Alt key, okay? I'm gonna ungroup him, that's Shift Command G or Shift Control G, and then we're going to, uh, we're gonna bring this group over here, and I just want one of these leaves, so I'm gonna double click, find uh, this leaf probably, Command C for copy, or Control C, and then I can just delete this group, I don't care about him anymore. I'm gonna Command or Control V to paste, now I have this leaf, Watch what happens when I don't hold shift. It actually squashes the leaf down, makes them a little bit rounder. So if I had something like this, I could make a little baby plant over here. Uh, let's create another shape for the stem of this little baby plant. And he's just going to poke out of here. That might be a little too thick. That's okay. Something like that. Uh, that's with the uh, rectangle tool again. That's shortcut key M. So I want him to actually be the lighter color, so I'm gonna use the I key for the eyedropper tool and grab the lighter color green. I'm going to bring this pot to the front, right click, arrange, bring to front. Now that's behind there. And I'm just gonna drag this leaf on top, which he's not on top, so we need to bring him to the front as well, arrange, bring to front. And now I can rotate him to the side. If I hold shift, it'll be 45 degrees, and I can just kind of position him on there. I think this stem's a little, a little too thick, so we're gonna zoom in here. We can grab this rectangle, hold Option or Alt, and you can kind of scale out from the center, remember that. And I'm just gonna make his stem a little bit uh, skinnier. Maybe that's too skinny. Maybe we'll just make that a little bit thicker, something like that. And then we can bring these leaves and just duplicate them with Option or Alt, and we could rotate them, we could uh, flip them, actually, and then rotate them. So the shadows are still on the bottoms of the leaves, and we can create two little leaves on here. Uh, you know, these leaves might be a little too big for that, but uh, and they're a little too lemon looking, so we can always skew them back a little bit so they're a little bit more leaf shape. That's holding option and kind of skewing uh, from the horizontal uh, section of that, and then we can bump that over just to make sure he's over the top of this stem. If you want to, you can zoom in and just make sure that lines up with the side there and covers up anything. We can zoom way in on this guy and make sure that uh, sort of lines up there with the with the stem. Then we can zoom out. And there we go, we have like a little baby plant over there. That's a little bonus. Um, I've gotta get going. Thank you guys for joining me for this lovely tutorial on potted plants. Hope you guys uh, learned a thing or two in this and appreciated it. If you, uh, if you like this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh, oh.